Yeah, we've got a budget meeting today, so I'll tell you later on. But um, yeah, it's it's a big step forward for us. But you know, we need to use it wisely. You know, we're going to chuck it all in, in one transfer window. We need to grow the club gradually. Like I said after the, the game at the weekend there, that's important that we we take steps to try and progress the club. Does it help you now even trying to? players to stay on or contract yeah definitely that's, that's one of the key things it's not just keeping players here but also try to attract guys we're saying you know we've got European football we've got group stage football so it definitely makes us more appealing I know you spoke a bit about Ellis the other night about trying to keep him is that something you think can happen and look we, we would it? we would love to make it happen but you know Ellis is a Everton player and it will come down to Everton and decide you know what they want to do with him you know I've spoke to Ellis He's enjoying his time here. You know, he's doing well. He's playing football. There's that carrot of European football, but it'll come down to his parent club. A big thing for even players extending contracts, but also trying to attract players now that what you've achieved, you've got a cup final. Obviously, football, which is at the group stage as well. But yeah, it's huge. It's huge. You know, for for the club, for the fans, for the players that are here already, and, and also for trying to get recruits in. So yeah, it's it's important. But you know, I keep going back to it as I do with the players that we need to continue to win football matches. You know, we can't start looking at what we're going to do in three months' time in Europe. We have to win at Tanadice on Saturday.